So we all know sauropods, the largest creatures to ever walk the earth. Yet despite being large, none really rival the largest creatures of the mighty seas. Or did they? G'day ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host bringing you some paleontological news detailing the largest land dinosaurs to ever exist. In one of the most recent studies made by Gregory Poor and C. Laramendi, they analyzed the limits of sauropod size. And as you can tell by the title, we're in for one today, with the title alone outright suggesting that their sizes were to be about the same as our modern day great whales. Now of course in this article there'll be some dinosaurs that you already know, such as the Argentinosaurus, Dreadnoughtus, the Patagotitan, but there is a newcomer that you may not know, this being Bruhathkeosaurus Matli. He was a sauropod discovered in 1978 in India, yet it wasn't until recently where reliable size estimates could be made. But before jumping into the weights of these dinos, we have to go through what this duo actually measured. The variables which were measured included tibia length, femur shaft width, and femur distill width. With this data, they were able to predict the femur length, which has been proven to be highly reliable when estimating body mass of these types of organisms. Not only did they predict the weight using the femur length, but they also used the tibia, which does place a bit of a range with its weight, which I'll get into later. With this calculation method, we see the true scale of some of these mighty sauropods. Now let's compare some of these titans to the largest terrestrial theropod, the Tyrannosaurus rex. On average, these carnivores reached 8.8 .8 tons, which puts our modern day land fauna to shame. But let's see how they compare. Well, the mighty Dreadnoughtus could have reached 33 tons, or 3.75 rexes. The Giraffe titan may have even clocked in at 35 tons, or four rexes in weight. Patagotitan? Well, it was at an impressive 57 tons, or six and a half rexes. We can never forget the classic Argentinosaurus, which measured a weight of 77 tons, or 8.75 rexes. Then we've also got the Marapunosaurus, which places a staggering mass of 80 to 120 tons, or nine to 13 rexes. And then we have our trophy winner, the Bruhathkeosaurus' range was calculated to be anywhere from 110 to 130 plus tons, with a mean mass of 120 tons. This means it could have been anywhere from 12 to above 15 T-Rexes in weight. I mean, wow. This just goes to show how much of a unit these creatures were. I mean, especially the Bruhathkeosaurus. Its average of 120 tons was on the higher end of the sauropod in second place. However, I do want to detail that the weight of this creature was calculated with the femur length. When using the tibia length, it shifts upwards from the 110 ton region all the way up to 170 tons, which, yeah, that would almost be like adding two giraffe titans to its weight. Although this paper notes that it's less plausible for this weight to be true, as it's an estimate using the robust titanosaurs to scale. However, the femur of this sauropod suggests that it wasn't as solidly built as some of the others. There was also a putative sauropod footprint from the early Cretaceous found in Australia. Its size suggested it could have been in the 200 tonne range. Yet there's not too much chance that it was the case, as again, it was noted that due to the footprint being in poor condition and other variables, it's far more likely that it was around the 80 tonne range. I mean, that's still impressive, as it would have been about nine T-Rexes in weight. Now, I mean, let's look at it compared to our whales. The average blue whale weighs in at about 100 to 150 tonnes with the rarer 200 tonner being here or there. But it seems that as our research continues on these extinct organisms that roamed the land millions of years ago, that these animals keep growing, with them rivaling even the most titanic creatures of the deep. What I also find interesting is the fact that the paper discusses that there's a strong possibility that the biggest land creatures would have exceeded the sizes of the greatest marine creatures. This is because we have the blue whale, as the confirmed largest creature to exist. And the thing is with them, is we have a large array of data about them. We have fairly accurate knowledge of what the extent of its size was. Meanwhile, the data that we have of these gigantic sauropods is quite lackluster, with little amounts of fossils for us to look at. I mean, it takes the perfect conditions to have a fossil. So to have it on the sauropods and the biggest ones, we'd have to be quite lucky. And because of this lacking data, it is probable that the remains discovered don't show us the maximum size of these creatures. So it comes to reason that with our current estimates challenging the blue whale in size, that it's likely that these titans of the terrestrial world at maximum would have truly been the largest creatures to ever exist. And you might ask, hey, how could they even move then? 
Well, obviously, these sauropods would have had specialized bones, muscles to support themselves, as they were quite literally walking buildings. I mean, an average house weighs about 80,000 to 160,000 pounds. And when we calculate it, it turns out to be only 36 to 72 tons. That's only just above the giraffe or titan in weight, with many others clearly exceeding it. And to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised in the future if we outright confirm that these sauropods exceeded the sizes of blue whales. Maybe one day they'll be crowned the largest creatures to ever exist. Well, we've reached the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed learning a bit more about this world's set of titans. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. See ya.